Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a damaged RAID system based on Buffalo NES model LS WXL236. As we know, RAID systems allow users to improve the safety of storing their data and secure it against loss if one or several hard disks fail. However, even while using RAID, hard disk failures can still result in losing access to your storage device and that precious data you keep there. Also, we cannot exclude the cases when the NAS itself breaks down and once again you lose access to your files. In today's video, I'll show you how to use a specialized data recovery tool to restore access to all information stored on a damaged RAID. We'll also explore how to build a crashed RAID and recover all this data. For better understanding of how a disk array is built, let's explore the process of creating a RAID system on a Buffalo NAS device. This model, Buffalo LSWXL236, supports several RAID levels – RAID 0, RAID 1 and JBOT. To create a RAID, open the web interface of your device by typing its IP address in a browser. Otherwise, open the settings in the app called Buffalo NAS Navigator. In the NAS Manager window, open the tab System – Storage. Scroll down to RAID Array and open the settings. Choose the level of your feature array, select the disk it is going to include and click Create RAID Array. The system will warn you that all data will be erased from the selected disks. Click Apply to confirm it. Enter the code and click Apply again. It starts the process of building the RAID, so you'll have to wait a little until it's over. After that, you'll be able to create a shared folder. You can use such folder to share files with other devices on your network. In the section Shared Folders, click Create Folder. Give the folder name, select a volume, set permissions and enable the required network protocols. Also, you can enable the Recycle Bin feature for this directory. This option will enable you to restore accidentally deleted files. When all parameters of the shared folder are given, click Save. After all the steps I have described are complete, you can use your new shared folder to exchange files with other devices connected to your network. Keep in mind that you might need to configure additional security options to ensure sufficient protection for your information, for example by setting a password or res restricting access permissions for certain users. When the Recycle Bin feature is enabled for the shell folder, you will be able to restore accidentally removed files from that folder. If you fail to recover files from the bin, or you lost access to your data because the network attached storage broke down and its RAID system crashed, only a special data recovery tool for RAID systems can help you. Recovering data from a non-operable NAS can be difficult and tiresome, but there are a few methods to help you get your files back. Today, we'll be exploring how to recover data from a Buffalo NAS which doesn't work anymore. Your first step should be to prepare for data recovery. You need to stop using the NAS to prevent further loss of data. If the NAS doesn't start, you should find out why it happens. This could be either a hardware or software issue. If the NAS is down because of a hardware problem, the faulty component should be replaced. If this is a software issue, you can either try to fix it on your own or contact professionals. If you fail to restore operability of your NAS and the disk array cannot be accessed, don't give up. With Hetman Head RAID Recovery, a specialized data recovery tool, you'll be able to rebuild the crashed RAID and retrieve important files from there. It supports the most popular file systems and RAID types, which makes it a perfect choice for data recovery after controller failures and other hardware issues. To get access to the hard disks, you should take them out of the NAS device and connect them directly to a Windows computer. If your computer's operating system suggests initializing or formatting the disks after they are connected, don't do it. This will erase data completely, and recovery will become a much more challenging process. For starters, Download, install and run Hetman RAID Recovery. At startup, the tool will automatically scan the disks connected to this computer and rebuild the crashed RAID. In the main window, you will see the RAID rebuilt with the available hard disks. To find necessary files, right-click on the volume and click Open. 
select the scan type, file scan or full analysis. For most simple scenarios, file scan will suffice. This operation takes less time. If the file scan can't find the required files, then go for full analysis. Go back to the main window, right-click on the disk, analyze again, full analysis, specify the file system for this disk. You can uncheck the option to search by file contents to speed up the scan and click next. When the scan is over, the results will be displayed on the screen. You can use the preview window to see the contents of all files. Select the files you want to restore and click the Recovery button. Specify where to save the data, choose the disk and folder. When the recovery process is over, you will find the recovered files in the directory you have chosen. Summing up, I can say that when a storage device breaks down, you may lose access to the disk array, but with a proper data recovery tool, you can restore the information stored on the hard disks inside the NAS. When connecting the disk to the computer, be careful not to initialize them, because it will make recovery more difficult. Also, it is important to understand that choosing the right tool and sequence of actions can make the recovery process much easier and help you avoid unnecessary data loss. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments under this video to ask more questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!